and welcome to and uh, Forex market update for the 27th of August. My name is Tamar Mayer from Trade with Precision and I'm going to discuss a few markets that I'm watching for trading opportunities. We have seen some great moves in the Forex market the past couple of days and I'm going to share with you the levels that I'm watching quite closely. Now before we head on to the chart I want to tell you about the webinar that we have for you today and that is about learning how to trade CFDs and learning how to utilize CFDs to trade commodities. In that webinar we will also go live into the market and we're going to look at commodity charts, identifying key levels and overall market direction. Now onto the charts and first up I've got Pound Canadian and we have identified this range of 181 to 187. We have been stuck in this range for many weeks and now we finally broke below it. So what I'm looking to do as I look for trading opportunity as market come up and test this level from underneath and then a continuation of this downtrend. And really, if we look at this trend, the next level is somewhere around here, the 164, 163. So we have a long way to go until we find the next level of support and resistance. So coming down into the daily and we can see how nice this level has been acted as support and now finally broken yesterday. And now I look for it to act as resistance. So I'll be looking for trading opportunities. I would look for a small bearish candle here rejecting this level. I would look for the moving averages to catch up with price and then take an opportunity to the downside. The next market that I really like the look of and again broke through some key level is Euro Aussie and let's just zoom out on this area and see how many times the market has touched through this 1.42. We have touches here, touches around here, over here and some more around here. This is a very strong level on Euro Aussie and now the price sitting below it with the next level of support and resistance around the 1.4 mark. So trading opportunities on this pair are actually on the lower time frame so I'll be looking down at the one hour I look for trading opportunity as the market pull back into the sell zone and move away, pull back into the sell zone and move away. I'll be looking for convergence on the indicator so basically I'd like to see the indicator pushing down as market is pushing down with price and I would look for confirmation on the mid time frame to see that we are not too overextended from the moving averages on the confirmation charts as well. The next market is EuroCAD and EuroCAD has broke through its level of support and resistance. So the level is 1.44 and you can see how many time market has touched through that level and reacted to it. If we'll check this price action on the daily we can see the break that occurred yesterday so we broke down with a very big decisive candle right here so what I'm looking to do over here is a pull back into this level to test it from below and then a continuation of the downtrend we can see that the indicator are pushing down and they are converging to the downside as well so I'll be looking to go into lower time frame for example the four hours and you can see that the trend on the four hours is very nice and I'll be looking for trading opportunities pulling back into this level that we identified as a strong level of support and resistance on the weekly and then continue the downward trend. So the four hours looks very nice, even coming down lower into the two hours. And we can see that the nice downtrend is also on the two hours, not too overextended over here from the averages, but I would like to see my opportunities right here in the sell zone and also have my confirmation chart in the sell zone as well. So these are the level that I'm watching closely for trading opportunities today. Hope you have a fantastic trading day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.